Hi you guys, this is Miss D at these special things. I was going to do a haul for you all, but guess what? I put all my stuff up and I'm really trying, and then I can't find stuff. So I have a, a few more things that I need to put up. And as promised, I will come back and show you my altered um, craft closet where I put all of my alterables. I'll come back and I'll let you see that and it's not like it probably doesn't look any different than any differently than it did before <laughs> but um yeah right now what i wanted to do was show you some cards and instead of just showing them to you i am going to make them i promise um, what's her name? Rebecca Creates. And her name is Rebecca. <laughs> her Rebecca Creates is her YouTube channel. I promised to make cards for a challenge. And I'm going to put her link there so that you all could go over to her channel and check out her challenge. And I promised to make some cards for her. She wanted simple cards because she wants to take them to a nursing home. I think that her... Um, it's either a nursing home or a retirement home. Um, her hus her son works at um, this place. And she wanted to do cards because he does cards and stuff and projects with them or for them. Yeah, go watch her video. I'm going to put the link down below. But I want to show you all, <laughs> as simple as it is, I just want to show you all what I'm using. Now, these are... Anna Griffith kits and you can make four cards from these kits. This is a sympathy one. I actually got these from Tuesday morning probably let's see when I went to Ikea to get the shelving for my altered closet. Yeah um, I, I stopped by Tuesday morning so I picked up a bunch of stuff but you guys I put it up I can't find that stuff so I'm not going to try and do a video based on the fact that I um, went to the store <laughs> and bought some stuff. But no, I can't find it. So, I'm going to use these three different kits. Um, this is probably coming to your store. As you can see, it says 817. I bought this in July. Yeah, this is August and the date says August. So, that means this, this stuff will probably probably be coming to your store. These kits make four cards. They're $1.99 and a Griffith and I'm going to show you. I'm actually doing another one too. I'm going to show you what's in these kits. I have one here and it comes like this with four pieces that you put on here. Four cards and four envelopes. She wanted the cards and the envelopes. So I thought, okay, this will be an easy way for me to do these cards, put them in the mail, send them to her. Um, Rebecca, as I mentioned to you before, I'm just participating in this. Um, and I'll chit-chat with you guys while I sit here and put your card together, okay? Um, I know it's funny because this is has got to be the easiest easiest I don't even know if I could do it but it comes with these little adhesive uh, glue dots and what I'm going to do right here so that this will look like I actually put some kind of effort into it I'm going to let me find some ink pads I'll at least ink up the edges that's the least I could do right um, yeah I'll at least do that so I am going to take my little doodad and ink up my edges. Yeah, I think that at least. Now, you can go a step further and mat this on here. I'll, I'll put a mat on it. I'm not going to do that because I think Anna did enough right here that I don't have to do that. So, I'm going to actually take this and as you can see, each card is like this and on the back she gives you an example of how you can use these cards I'm gonna do them exactly the way she did them um yeah so that it's not you know rocket science <laughs> it's as simple as this and I'm gonna use 
a um some of my oops I can't get it out let's see hold on I know whenever you're you're crafting and you're online this is when you have issues with your glue right okay so I'm going to just adhere a bit of glue to the edges here and if I run out of glue dots oh I have some foam dots I probably should use that because it's bigger I went to Dollar Tree yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do because it is bigger oh but she wanted them to be not so dimensional maybe I shouldn't put anything on here yeah I think I might just not put anything on it because she did not want them so dimensional but she wanted them cute enough that you can use um, it for whatever there is one for my friend and <laughs> that's one I'm gonna do them this simple uh, I'm going to do probably quite a few of them because I just want to do some. Here's another one. And this one has a, I, um, and it says, Dear Friend. This one has a um, ribbon on it. I'm going to pull that ribbon back so I don't color it up. And, yeah, this is real quick, real simple. You want to send someone something homemade. Ink the edges. It'll look like you actually came up with a great idea. Um, you can actually add stuff to it and just adhere it to your. You could use tape on here if you want, but I'm using glue because that's what I'm doing. And I'm not going to pop dot them because she did say she didn't want a lot of dimension. So I'm actually just going to put them on here it can't get any simpler than this you guys yeah um <laughs> simple as that Anna you're great <laughs> now when I say this is a simple project this has got to be the simplest project so if you go by your Tuesday morning look for these kits like I said it makes four I'm getting ready to do this one and it looks like this and it looks like I layered and everything else, doesn't it? And I didn't. I inked the edges, as you can see. And I just did this. So, Rebecca, I hope this is what you wanted. I know you wanted some, um, like, sympathy cards. I think I do have one that says sympathy and if you didn't want this to say this, you can easily either take some washi tape and make it whatever sentiment you want. Or you can pop dot it or you could just take something else and put it over it. Um, yeah, so you can make these what you want. So I hope this is okay. And she wants um, you to... Actually, she wanted one card. Uh... Yeah, that's all. She's asking everyone to send her a card so that she can have enough cards to send to um, the nursing home. I think it's a, either a nursing home or a retirement home. And this is the last one, you guys. See how easy that was? And my video is almost about ready to go I want to just show you what I'm doing here these are just like too cute I'm just inking my edges and she wants you to send them with an envelope um, yeah and some people did because I read her comments some people did say they didn't they had um, uh, they actually had uh, these they had cards but they didn't have envelopes and she said if you just do not have envelopes you could still send them 
and she will go ahead and get envelopes for them but if you have envelopes it would be a lot easier on her if you just sent them it was either the envelopes or the bags that they didn't have okay and there you are right there see how quick and simple that was and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them dry but I'm going to put a card with each one let me make sure the insides of these cards are pretty much in that cute they're all the same so I'm going to put these um, envelopes attach the envelopes to them and I'm using these CD these um, CD uh, bags yeah so yeah I am merely taking these let's see what the bags that I'm using here they are these I get I don't know where I get these from um but anyway they come like this and I used to put my stamps in them they're a little sturdy but not um great for they could be great for teeny stamps but um, uh, so I just take them and slide them in these little bags packages I'll have to put a piece of tape on the end of it but yeah this is what she would like you to how she would like you to send them so she can easily take them and put them in a box all of them categorize them and uh, yeah have them for the residents to use so there you are and there are my cards Rebecca I am gonna put these in the it's early morning here so I'll put these in the um, the mailbox yes uh, Monday mm-hmm and um, yeah you can go ahead hopefully you'll get them I think I have your address already but I'll check and look and I'm almost certain I do um, I'll check to make sure because I might have it in one I, it's funny how you organize and you have so many different things um, different places and uh, there you are you guys cute cards huh I did that and probably if I wasn't explaining a few minutes but just so that you'll know there's and these are the designs that they have for the Anna Griffith card kits and they also have treat bag kits um oh my gosh that'll have to be another video because I don't know where that stuff is but I did get some of the treat bag kits they have four bags in there with almost the same idea but this one is one eight six one three three six dollar ninety nine cent for four pieces this is what it looks like here so Yes, you guys, simple, easy to put together. The sympathy one, then they have a Mother's Day one, they have a congratulations one. I think I bought two or three of each one of these because I thought they would be easy. So when people ask for uh, cards and such, I'll have them ready. And um, yeah, so there you are. Thanks, Rebecca. Check out Rebecca's channel, participate in her challenge, and yeah, there you go. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.